Hi, I'm Don Thomas. Sitting beside me is uh, my best friend. Aren't I supposed to introduce you? Yes, but after I'm done with you. So why am I going to introduce you if you already introduced me? <laughs> oh, let me start again. Hi, and welcome to this installment of Terminus Media Television. Beside me is a man that needs no introduction. So let's yeah. skip it. So, this is Don Thomas. <laughs> and this is Fred Torres. I was going to tell you about his many accomplishments and all his great friendship and admirality. Is that a word? It I is now. Know. I well, just, you go. Now. But I've decided to let his work speak for us. Behind us is his creation, the gnome, Nick Gnome to be exact. It's short for Nicholas. That's true. <laughs> you are. Uh, yes, it is. You are uh, now, very obtuse. Um, and and this is and this is Don Thomas. Yes. This is uh, his work behind us for Weird West. Brilliant, actually. Is He's it prolific. Is, really. Thank you. And He's I, done at least three things. Four, if you count marriage. Okay, let me tell you a story about Weird West and Terminus Media. I showed up at Terminus Media booth at the Heroes Con. And there waiting for me was the most beautiful man I've ever met. His name was Tony Cade. I immediately fell in love with him. And I immediately fell in love with Adrian, the art director at the time. Both of them were just lovely, lovely gentlemen. Just brilliant. And then I met Mark Stansel. He rules Terminus Media with an iron fist. In fact, don't let that soft demeanor <laughs> fool you. He's Genghis Khan with a hatchet. Anyway. So I show up at my first meeting, and I'm immediately handled, handed a wonderful script. So I went back home, and I tried to do layouts for it, and I just, I wasn't a good enough artist for it. So I handed it over to my friend Rodney, who's not here. But he would be if he were invited. Anyway, I digress. So I said, <laughs> you know, I just need to come up with something that will curl Mark and Tony's and Pete's toes. So I come up with the idea, what if a cowboy no, no, sorry, so sorry. What if a cowgirl, an Indian, and a priest... That sounds like a joke. It started out that way, and, you know, some people look was at Was there a work. duck? There was no duck. So I wanted to do something very old-school monster movie with vampires and freaks out monsters and killing stuff, but I wanted to have a twist of irony. They show up, they fight their villain, they kill her in the first few pages. What do they do? And therein lies the genius of my story. I'm a master of irony, a master of wit, a mar master of sardonicism. So I, I did my steampunk version of a uh, Weird West story, and hopefully you guys will be seeing it for free on the internet and in various snippets, and you'll go out and purchase it, and then send me your blood money. Fred, tell me a little bit about what you did for Terminus. Uh, uh, I, Besides I, the blood. <laughs> I, you know. And murder. I, <laughs> I, I actually did a couple of things for Terminus. Uh, my uh, first installment in a Terminus book was uh, with the aforementioned Tony Cade. We, we did a little piece uh, called, uh, what was it called, Tony? <laughs> Choices. <laughs> there you go. It was called Choices, and it was about two uh, stealthily clad uh, characters who were coming in to fight some terrorists. Uh, I pride myself in the fact that, you know, the G.I. Joe movie ripped off my designs. But, uh, you know, that's I okay. The gnome was uh, uh, drawn up from a concept and a script by uh, Nate Hill. He also <laughs> did the dialogue for, uh, for Weird West, and he helped me kind of finish the story when I hit a roadblock. So I will give him his props. Gnome uh, uh, was a, a, a very interesting, char uh, charming character, very similar to Tony Cade. Uh, except that, you know, he ran around with a cigar and a katana and I have killed seen, bad things. I have seen Tony Cade with a giant red hat sitting in my lawn at night, and I'm not sure. Go ahead, style. Style? You, well, well, you have first, no style. Oh, oh, yeah, I have no style. I basically copy everything from the back of a matchbook. You and remember style. those, how do you draw? Oh, okay, style. Um, my initial influences when I first came to Terminus Media was an artist called Linnell Yu. I thought he was awesome, and I still do. But then I realized I can't draw like him worth crap, so I better just stick with my own drawing style. And thank God for, for Fred and Brian Stelfreeze who put me on the right road. Now I'm making a living doing freelance work and working for a bank. I'm glad you mentioned Brian. Okay. Brian Stelfreeze, in case you've been living under a rock or in a cave, he's someone who's taken a lot of time and uh, contributed to uh, the two of us in our development. 
And Lord, um, he makes you wake at a, wait at a con to talk to him. And I, I'm pretty sure he would prefer that we didn't mention that. Okay, you can cut that Because that's probably that, uh, embarrassing that he's had to deal with us. Yes, the truth is... but no, we, no yeah, we exaggerate. Yes. You know, we met him once. But um, he was a nice guy. George Perez. Which you don't draw like. You know, no, I... I I, you know what, when I started out, I used to trace George. I even got it to the point where I was mimicking his signature. And you went off on me for tracing Adam Hughes. How dare you? Well, I was 12 when well, I did I that. I was only 25, <laughs> give or take. I guess right now, the guys I admire the most are uh, Stuart Immerman, oh. Eminem. Eminem. He's like not Eminem, but Eminem. No. Stuart Eminem. not Slim Shady. Eminem. He's awesome. Uh, George Perez still. He's still, you know, but can I, kick a lot of ass. Yes, yes. Uh, Adam Hughes. Uh, God. <laughs> but not really like Jesus, who's a savior. He's more like a man who we admire a lot. Anyway, Styles again. Styles. I, I think I covered it. Oh, okay. I, I, I graduated I from thought, the school of George. I always thought <laughs> Phil, I, I, I always thought Fred reminded me of Phil Hester. But he hates that. I've never seen Phil Hester, so I don't know how Holy to take crap. that. He's great, man. Okay. Some guy was just Give waving his question, finger at really us. beautiful lady from off the camera, which will never hear your voice because it'll no, be cut. It's not a good one. It's, I have it to, is. It's, I have to do the fake one if I want to do that. I have to ask. She wrote She's got to do her, her, her 1 800 voice. Mm. <laughs> Hi. Hey, so. Are you looking for love? Are you looking for love? <laughs> I would be, but I'm married. Where's my wife? My suggestion for people that want to break into the industry don't do it. I need to work. Um, he stole my answer. <laughs> You guys just need to realize that y'all suck and and just die and go to hell. But uh, Walmart's hiring. Walmart is hiring. Uh, and the second part of the question was what? 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 What do I? What do I want to do with terminus? I want to rock. <laughs> I want to rock. Mark Stanfield. <laughs> you know what I mean, Mark Stanfield. It's not funny. Tired of you picking at me every day in my high school life. I want to rock! I said it, okay? <laughs> Go ahead, Fred. Uh, Answer both those questions if you remember them. Uh, Beer drinking scout. For okay. aspiring creators trying to break into the industry. Um, all jokes aside, most important thing, be honest with yourself. If the only people that are telling you who you can draw are your mom and your dad and your girlfriend, you're gonna kinda need to go outside of that circle and see what other people say. Uh, when you go to a portfolio review, which you're gonna have to do to go talk to an editor, don't apologize for what you did. Hmm. Don't explain what you were trying to do. If you have to explain what you were trying to do, guess what, you didn't accomplish it. Um, and three, you know what, you went to this guy and asked him your, his opinion. You didn't like it, don't give him a hard time. They're just there trying to do their job. Walk away, thank them politely. If you didn't agree with it, fine. Forget about it five feet after you walk away. But uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, yeah. it, you, it's, it's not easy. Be professional. It's not glamorous. If you show it up It doesn't a pay much. Yeah, if you show up at a portfolio... And you get to hang out with guys like this. If you show so. up at a portfolio meeting, don't argue with the guy that you're talking to. Have your stuff not on notebook paper. No. Good God. No you're, coffee stains. No coffee stains. No stuff falling out of your show portfolio when you go to open it up. Because if you don't show your sequential artwork, basically you're just showing pinups. And no editor is really going to know what the hell you're doing. And, and I'm don't, sorry for don't show them anything that you drew a year ago. Exactly. And notebook paper, God. Uh, on Terminus Media website, there's pictures of Fred and I at our portfolio review, and you can see the veins in Fred's head about to explode. There's a young lady that showed up with a notebook paper of her anime, but she kept explaining to him how she was going to do it better. At which point he said, well, you should have done it better, and she got very mad, in which I point I told her, WOMAN! Get me from this room. He actually did say that. Because that's how Which I was hilarious I'm, to me at I the time. Am, I am a, a, a fat white boy with an attitude. Don't test me. <laughs>